Welcome to episode five, guys, of the Sea Do series, and today we're taking a look at the best camera options for out on the jet ski. So let's roll the intro and let's go. Hey guys, Mr. Mitch here and welcome back to the sea series. So today we're going to be talking about the best camera to use on the jet ski to get the best footage for your social media because I've tried them all, I do enjoy it myself, so I've tried them all and there's one clear camera that you must have if you want to get any sort of decent footage. So let's run through them. I'll show you some test footage that I've had from the past and show you why this one is such a good camera. Okay, so the first camera is the one that you've always got on you because that's the one they say is the best camera and that is generally your mobile phone. So the iPhones, the Androids, they're pretty good with the, uh, with the video quality these days and a lot of them now are water resistant if not a little bit waterproof so that's definitely helpful. The biggest issue though is getting stable and decent footage out on the water because it's never extremely flat in most situations. So what you're going to need to go with your mobile phone is the stabilizer. So you can pick these up for around $100 and uh, you just ride along, hold it out while you're accelerating and you'll get some extremely good shots or you can flip it around, hold it out and get yourself on the um, ski as well. That is one option. It's not a terrible option but it's not the best option. So let's keep moving. Another really popular option for jet ski cameras is the GoPro or the action camera. You would think these would be your best option because they are extremely waterproof, rough, and ready to go in these sort of situations. Unfortunately, it does limit your view though. You end up just getting that plain, boring handlebar view, which is only good for roughly three or four seconds and then it's a little bit old and tired and boring. So this one, I very rarely use this anymore these days. So that one is out. Another option out on the water which has been extremely popular in the last sort of five years is to get a drone. The only issue I have with the drone is it's a lot harder to set up, put up, especially if you're sitting out on your ski in the middle of the ocean, but it can be done. What I also suggest if you are going to go with this option is that rather than chase the uh, jet ski with the drone, get the jet ski to chase the drone. <laughs> <laughs> Very wordy, but it's a lot easier to be um, in the middle of the shot and you don't, you're not all over the shop and you, you stick in the middle of the frame. That's what I found is the best option. However, I very rarely use this. As I said, it is extremely hard to get it up in the air and get decent shots. So, not a bad option, but very, very hard. Okay, so my favorite option is the 360 camera. If you're not familiar with what a 360 camera is, it has lenses on both sides of the camera. So much like your nose, you can't see down the middle of the stick, therefore creating an invisible selfie stick, as you can see in the videos uh, right here, which makes this, for me, the best camera to use out on the water. Um, Insta360 makes this one. GoPro also makes some versions, and there are plenty of other companies as well. But I highly recommend, if you want to get good footage out on your jet ski, look into a 360 camera. They're extremely easy to use. Literally, it has two buttons on here. You push those. Then you bring it up on the app when you get home and you reframe it and you'll be in the center all the time because a 360 camera films everything all around. And guys, for a bonus tip, if you do have a 360 camera, the best way I find to get shots if you want to actually hold on and use two hands, is just put it down the back of your life jacket. It's nice and sturdy, it won't fall out. I've tried it. As you can see in these pictures, I was going full throttle on the c Spark at around 80 kilometers an hour and um, no problem. So stick it down the back. That's a little hack for you as well. Other cool thing that the 360 cameras will do as well are tiny planets. So if you're wondering how you get that little tiny planet, you need the 360 camera and that does all the work. It's basically not me, it's all this thing. So if you do have any other questions, drop us a comment. Until then though, subscribe and like the video because I've got plenty more SeaDo videos on the way and you don't want to miss them. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.